Alright, hello everybody, I'm Keith here, and uh, this is a dual commentary with uh, my friend Triple Space. Introduce yourself. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, so, I do some videos, and I was wondering if uh, you had any plans on doing any videos in the future. Like, were you going to buy a capture um, card and start videos? Uh, it would be pretty fun. You'd be able to see how I play, because I play a different style than you. But I don't know. Okay, I don't so really think um, about we it. both know that we have different play styles. Um, how do you think mine compares to yours, or vice versa? Uh, um, in your free for all, you play a lot different than me, and in this team deathmatch, you seem to play more like me. Because I like to push around, and sometimes I play smart and sit in areas like you are right now. Uh huh. But and pushing doesn't really allow me to get that many kill streaks because yeah, you know, it's not like really five, it's seven. Yeah, you're right. Pushing and it, it, pushing isn't really a consistent play style because spawns switch all the time and just it, it, it's pretty difficult from time to time. But I I still manage to do decent. I mean, this game is really simple. Like everyone thinks you have to camp to get a kill death ratio of like one, but mine's almost one, and I push. I sometimes yeah. can't though. Maybe, maybe you and I would think this game was easy compared to because we we've played Counter Strike and in that game, it's it's a lot different and I'm pretty yeah. sure everybody else can agree it's more challenging than say well, basically all of the Call of Duty series because there's not much recoil. It's everything's really simple and laid out. Oh my God! What do you think? Fucking okay, nice. Yeah, that knife kill was very ridiculous. <laughs> Ridic I don't even know how he didn't see me. Or, not really see me, but why didn't he kill me? Maybe he's special. Or something. Probably was like texting his boyfriend or something. So, you know I, that I always basically think that all the. Is. Go on. Uh, that guy that was sitting right next to where you were. I always thought he was an enemy when I was watching this. Okay, so you you know my perk setup generally, but um, ha what three perks do you, if any, that you stick with? What three perks do you normally use? Um, I like to use Scavenger Pro because I like to have ammo and I like to spray, especially since I'm a rusher. I kind of need ammo, but you could also use Marathon, which I sometimes use, and I always mm -hmm. use Stopping Power. And as you can tell, you're using cold blooded, which is so you don't get shot with like air support hairs and stuff. I always have a class with that, and I also have it with the javelin or something so I can shoot it down. Mm -hmm. But I normally have stopping power on just so I can get kills faster. I just find it necessary. And then the third the reason why I, I try uh, the reason why I don't really use stopping power is because I don't really feel that too many of the guns in this game need it. Because the the recoil in this game isn't even that strong, or let alone the spread, they're not really that strong enough. So I feel that you'd even need it. I mean, you can just pretty much spray, and just it just takes like three extra bullets, if that. Yeah, but then when you run into people with like painkiller, it takes like eight billion bullets. Yeah, but even then, if you do, you don't, you shouldn't even waste your time with that, anyways. And there you go, going prone to dodge that nade. It's well, pretty, pretty effective. Well, I didn't go <laughs> prone just to touch the nade. I, uh, I wanted to call in my air support too. And when calling in your air support, we could have ran away, you know, prone. like Michael Phelps or something. Yeah, like swim. Michael Phelps, because <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> swim. <laughs> Anyways, um, so ha do you know anything of the game Black Ops? Do you know, like, basically what I've it's supposed seen to be about? a trailer from the E3. So when it and first it looks when the trailers first weird. came out, it, uh, it a lot of people thought that it was going to be about Vietnam, but now uh, it looks the way that it's going to turn out to be is that it's going to be like basically time travel, I guess you can call it, because it's over a course of many different time periods, which means that there's going to be a lot of different guns, um, and it's just going to be a uh, has a lot more variety yeah. to it. Do you think that you're going to spend the money on it? Yeah, I probably will, but I probably won't play the campaign because I have I have Call of Duty 4 and MW2 on Xbox, and I've 
played a little bit of the campaign on 4, and I think I've done, like, the first part of MW2, and that was it. I just get yeah, I, really bored out of it. I never play campaign. I personally don't like single-player games that much. Um, multiplayer is yeah. more of what I like. From the uh, trailer of Black Ops that I saw, it looked like they were, like, the Amazon or something. Like, it was kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know. And this game is closing up quickly. Yeah, um, two kills left in the game. Um, one game. Oh, well, yeah, that's I game. like the choice of your weapon. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, Triple Space's uh, YouTube page will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye.